all the best boxing content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and punch that bell for notifications. Golden Boy has found their golden girl. Once a child that had been deterred from boxing, to a kid that was beating up on the boys, Senecia Estrada has always had to prove herself to the so-called experts in the sport. Even her signing with Golden Boy was looked at as a surprise, because there was a point in time that Oscar De La Hoya had stated that he wasn't going to sign any female fighters. However, that was before women's boxing was at the forefront of the sport and could not be ignored. Estrada helped that ascension. At the beginning of the bumpy trail that was 2021, she was a prospect on the cusp of a title shot. Her stardom, however, had already begun. In July of 2020, in the shiny days of summer, she spent more time walking out to the ring than she did beating the opponent she was strutting out to. It was Lamb versus Lion. It is over. This didn't just add another win onto her undefeated record. This sent her name into the history books with the fastest woman's knockout ever. But her trailblazing efforts didn't stop there. On March 20th, 2021, she finally earned her first world title shot against the more experienced WBA minimum weight champion Annabelle Ortiz. After 10 rounds of Estrada dominating the action, landing flurries of combinations, constantly switching stances, and adding a knockdown in the process, she had officially burst onto the scene. The fighter nicknamed after Sugar Ray Leonard, the OG super bad, had just cemented to the entire world that she is super good. Most champions, especially new ones, will most likely try to defend their strap or go after unification before moving on to the challenge of becoming a two division champ. Well, just like Leonard, Estrada doesn't want to be like any other champion. Under four months later, the newly crowned super bad went after that higher status, going toe to toe with two division and WBO light flyweight champion Tenkai Tsunami. In the Ortiz fight, Estrada enjoyed a height and reach advantage. In this fight, she was the smaller of the two. That isn't even touching on the experience difference. The Japanese fighter had fought in more championship rounds than Estrada had fought total rounds in her career. But Superbad stuck with what worked. Constant pressure, switching stances, attacking with speed and precision, and the result was the same. Estrada walked away with the unanimous decision, Tsunami's belt, and the status of a two-division champion. She is still undefeated and new to MBO, light flyweight champion of the world, Superman, Senita. Most in the sport will never accomplish this status. Superbad did it in two fights in under four months. This doesn't just make her one of the best female fighters this year, this will put her name into fighter of the year contention, especially if she can fight one more time. She might have a hard time catching up to the diamond that is Canelo Alvarez, but if she has proven anything in her career, it is not to overlook her. Golden Boy has their golden girl, but she is so much more than that a true trailblazer that should be in contention for fighter of the year regardless of gender, pundits might not have to look any further than Cinesia Superbad Estrada. <laughs>